Hey Matt, so memories and music are quite often interconnected, one reminds you of the other, and I think that's a really good point to take home from yesterday's video, because I myself do live by that as well. There's two ways in which I could answer your question from yesterday, depending on how I interpret it. One of which is fairly straightforward, what is the first major fandom, I guess, that I was introduced to, researched, and knew a lot about? And to be honest, that's a hard one to pin down, because I've followed the Final Fantasy series for many years, and I've been very up on the law, and I can tell you down to individual statistics of certain monsters in certain areas, which is probably a bit too far, but if I had to pick one it would probably be Kingdom Hearts because that series originally only started as a single game and then eventually got a sequel that was delayed for a long time and then it's had a million different spin-offs and re-releases before the eventual third game next year after about 14 years. But for some reason I was so immersed in this game, in this world, because it was so different. It combined my love of RPGs and some of my favourite characters, you know, like Cloud Strife, Squall Lionheart from Final Fantasy 7 and 8 respectively with Disney characters, which it shouldn't work. On some fundamental level, it just shouldn't work, and yet, I certainly don't mind admitting I was surprised the first time I played a Kingdom Hearts game, where you have the whimsy of the Disney characters, some that are so iconic in their own right, and then combine them with the iconic characters of Final Fantasy, which are often darker and just grittier, and somehow, they blended it into this weird, kid-friendly, but also adult-friendly universe that has something for everyone. And while Kingdom Hearts 3 is aimed more at the newer Disney properties that they've acquired over the years, I still think it's going to be a heck of a time. But this quite nicely links into my question for you tomorrow Matt. So Kingdom Hearts, when I first saw it I thought it looked stupid. I can't believe I'm saying that now because of how into it I am, but at the time I saw a kid with big shoes swinging around a giant door key clobbering some cute shadow monsters. And I was saying that back in my early teens and now I'm 29 sat here talking about how good Kingdom Hearts is, but I have this really annoying tendency at looking at something and going, that's going to be rubbish, that's terrible, that's crap, and yet never actually trying or watching it. I've done it with several things that have turned out that I've loved over the years. Kingdom Hearts and Disgaea being two of the series that I've loved. The same could be said for Skyrim and Fallout 4 and several other properties, both video games and movies and TV shows and various other things that I've done. So the question I would like you to answer, Matt, is have you ever seen something and judged it and then after experiencing it, had the complete opposite reaction. It doesn't have to be, thought it was negative, time to be good. You could think something was great and turns out to be less than great. This can apply to anything in life. It doesn't have to be video games. It can be a place, a situation, an activity. So whatever that might be, Matt, I look forward to hearing about it tomorrow. So keep on mattering and I will have a nice day.